Yo, what's up everyone, Ufo here, and today we have got a huge crown chest opening for you guys. As always, I have saved up all of the crown chests from the season, and we are going to open them all today. Along the way, we do get some special chests, like some epic chests, rare chests, and at the end, we do get two legendary chests, which is just amazing. So this should be really awesome, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. If you do, make sure you guys leave a like. Leaving a like always really helps out the videos, plus I hear you guys get a legendary card after you guys leave a like so smack that like button see if you get a legendary card yourself and also while you're down there if you guys could subscribe that would be awesome in the shop make sure to use creator boost ufo well that's awkward and without any further delay let's hop into this so we're going to go through these chests i'm going to show you guys the best one but to begin with we do get gold and then we get more gold we have got pass royale so we are getting both sides and yeah a few things i want to talk about today the first thing is i'm sick so i'm sorry if my voice sounds weird and honestly in terms of chests, I think I'm only looking for legendary cards. So what I'm going to do with my chests instead is just go for star points. Star points are the things you get to make your cards golden. And yeah, let's talk about creator boost because honestly, I'm very disappointed in Supercell. Now, they brought out that support or creator code thing which is fantastic. It's a great idea. They should have done this years ago. Fortnite kind of set the trend with it and obviously other companies follow because they realize what a great idea this is and how much the community loves it. So props to them for doing this. What isn't so great though is how it's closed beta. So for you guys that do not know, I cannot get a creator code because it is closed. There's no way to apply for one and unless you're on Supercell's good list, you just cannot get one. And here's the weird thing for me. The weird thing is i don't care about the money or whatever i will get from the creator code it's more of the principle of them not giving me one i don't understand why man it's so weird we're opening up all these chests and i'm literally just looking for star points and here's a tower skin boom the goblin party tower skin is now mine the main reason why the creator code thing kind of bothers me is because i want to be able to do cool stuff for you guys the money i would have gotten from the creator code i would have put back into my community so people who use my code can then benefit from using my code that's like the whole idea i have set up in my mind and when i first thought about this this was my first thought and it could be something really easy like just in my video at some random timestamp there's a code for an itunes or google play voucher and it's just really Really sad how Supercell haven't given me a code. They haven't given me an option to get a code. Like there's no way to apply for it. It's in closed beta. And it's like I make content for your game. I am a content creator. I've played the game now for three, almost four years, making Clash Royale videos, giving them a ton of money just from you know the chest openings I do and whatsoever. And they just haven't given me a code. It's like I don't exist to them. So honestly, when I found out about this news, I was upset. I still am upset in case you guys can't tell and like i said it's not about the money i couldn't care less about the money it's about the respect that they have not only the respect for me but the respect for my community because my channel is more than just me it's a ton of people who watch my videos whenever they can and even join my clan in the game the bottom line is i'm very disappointed in supercell like i said the fact they brought this out is fantastic if you are not using a creator code definitely do use a creator code because at the end of the day it does just help the creator and then they get like i said extra money they can spend it on whatever they want oh a legendary let's go first legendary card of today what is it it's a fisherman i already got that maxed yeah so we're going to replace that we have five strikes electro wizard is already maxed graveyard is already maxed come on give me a sparky bandit already maxed and finally night wish dang couldn't get a legendary card we need but that's okay new emote and like i said i hope one day in the future supercell will give me a creator code and from there i can start doing giveaways like i want to but until that time comes we're going to have to wait i'm going to stop talking about it now because this is turning into a rant and i can literally go on about this for hours and i didn't even mean for this to turn into a rant so it's just i have to get that off my chest and i want to hear your guys opinion on it as well like do you think i deserve a creator code or am i being a bit like like outrageous than feeling a bit entitled because i don't want to feel entitled i don't feel like i'm entitled to the code i just feel like as someone who played their game for a very long time who has created content on their game for literally years that i kind of you know am eligible for a code is the way i'm going to word it so yeah i'm going to throw this over to you guys in the comment section thank you for hearing me out i know it might be annoying just to hear this 
random person talk about the baby didn't get his bottle, you know? Boo-hoo. But it goes deeper than that. Like I said, it's about respect. It's about the respect Supercell has for my community, which I'm very protective over. Because you guys do nothing but support me. End of the day, I'm so grateful for every one of you guys. We recently just hit 250,000 subscribers, which is a mind-boggling number. We're a fourth of the way to a million. Like, that is a outrageous number. I have a plaque on the wall behind me for 100,000 and I hang that there with pride, you know, like, honestly, words cannot express how grateful I am to be in the position I'm in and doing what I do. It's just fantastic and I wouldn't trade it for anything in the world. But yeah, like I said, just hopefully Supercell will give me a code soon, then I can start giving back. And yeah, we are just about at the end of the chest opening now with two legendary chests left. So let's open them up, see what we get. The first one does the spinning animation and we get a Royal Ghost. I need one of them. I'm not going to be greedy. We're going to keep it. The second legendary chest, it does the spinning animation and we get a Magic Archer. Again, I need one of those. So let's not be too greedy and just take it. Okay, so I'm now going to hop into some ladder now that we're done with some chests. Pretty much I just ask my clan someone give me a deck and whatever deck they give me I'm going to use. I know right I'm insane for doing this. The hardest challenge you will ever see on YouTube. Okay boom we got a golem deck and then we have that crazy deck. Okay let's use both of these. One of them I have very leveled up. The other one not so much. This one let's level it up a bit just so we can actually play it on ladder. My sparky is really close to max. Yeah I'm only six away which is fantastic. The royal ghost we're 13 away. Okay so we are into a game with this crazy deck and right away the this guy goes with a goblin gang at the bridge. We're just going to royal ghost this. Royal ghost can take out the entire goblin gang. Not doing too much damage to my tower. And we're, then we're going to play a dark goblin behind him. And we're actually going to do some good tower damage. Okay. Next up, I do want a mega knight here. Just going to mega knight all of this. Boom. Now, the bad thing about this deck, I'm already realizing it, is it has no spells. No log, no zap, no lightning, no fireball, no nothing. And we're playing log bait. So this is going to be a very hard matchup. As well, this deck doesn't have a clear win condition. Like, there's no, like, bridge spam element to it. There's no, like... Hog Rider. So it's just a very weird deck. We're going to play a Sparky. Oh, he's leaving the Sparky alive. He didn't rocket it. That's a mistake. He's going to try and surround it. Yep. Shoot the tower. It didn't. Unlucky. Still, the Dark Goblin did some good chip damage. And honestly, a bit of a unique Tesla placement, but I'm going to place it there just so it can shoot these goblins on the tower. And I think I know what I have to start doing. By the way, you never need Knight and Royal Ghost in the same deck. The Royal Ghost is a Knight. Like, there's just so much wrong with this deck I'm playing right now. Oh my goodness, that Executioner. I forgot they buffed the range of it again. Anyway, defend the tower. Okay, we got the Mega Knight onto the tower. Again, a big spell right now would be very helpful. Like just one fireball, one log, one anything, the tower would get destroyed. The Dark Goblin did it. Wow, what a clutch. Okay, that deck was horrible. I'm sorry to the dude that suggested it. And the other deck we got was a Golem deck. This deck is already solid. It's a standard Golem deck. Okay, now we're going into a game with the Golem deck. Like I said, this deck is already solid. So I'm actually very confident we're just going to win he plays a valkyrie at the back we're going to go in with a golem down the same lane and he goes with a baby dragon that's okay honestly i'm just going to play a night wish and then mega Minion. so this should just take out everything pretty much we're also going to tornado here tornado and everything towards the golem so when the golem explodes the death damage kicks in and we do a ton of work to those zappies as well we have one bat that survived so that one little bat doing some chip damage like that giving us a very dominating early lead fantastic so here we just need to cycle goblins at the bridge just gives him some pressure he plays a Valkyrie. Okay. He also plays a Furnace, so we're just going to log it back. The Valkyrie will swing on our tower once. That's fine. The Baby Dragon's going to be doing his thing. And he plays his own Baby Dragon, so we're going to play a Mega Minion. Mega Minion will get taken out, but we can now afford to play a Golem at the back. And he goes with a Royal Giant. Okay. So what we're going to do is play a Night Witch up high. Going to also play Goblins. I want to log as well. Just trying to take all this stuff out as quickly as possible. And boom, there we go. And honestly, right now, he doesn't have a lot of Elixir to stop a Golem. He actually just played a wizard so that's great lightning value for me and that's going to be a tower taken there's no stopping this so we take an early lead we're playing another golem at the back and honestly he just spent 10 elixir going down the other lane so i'm going to let that tower go and we're going to defend it very cheaply as you can see going to tornado everything Going to play another Night Witch, going to play another Golem, and this is just a good game. This push is way too strong to stop. He had to Lightning. That's not enough, buddy. And yeah, let's throw him the good game. 
Where's the new emote? There we go. Fantastic. So yeah, Golem Dexter are always very strong. And yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Like I said, make sure you guys use someone creator code. Obviously, like I said, I do not have one, which is just sad. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video anyway. If you did, make sure you guys leave a like. Of course, subscribe if you have not already. As always, make sure you guys take care, brush your hair, and peace out. <laughs>